Now we will go on to this chart here first and then we will study lastly these two questions. Here I make a, made a chart and we're going to study if these numbers here up to 30 are divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I put an X mark here for 1 already because every single number is divisible by 1. You know, 8 divided by 1 equals 8. It's divisible by 1. And uh, every number is also divisible by itself. Like 8 would be divisible by 8 because you get 1. Or 13 would be divisible by 13. But let's now study these others. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, if I think of numbers that are divisible by 2... Those are your even numbers, right? 2, 4, 6, 8. So 2 here is divisible by 2, 3 is not, 4 is divisible by 2, and 6 is, every other number here in my list, is divisible by 2. It's my even numbers. There. Then we'll look at 3. Which one of them are divisible by 3? 2 is not, 3 is the first one that's divisible by 3. And then after that, every third number is divisible by 3. So 6 is next, and then 9, and then 12, and then 15. And over here, I have 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30 that are divisible by 3. And so in a similar manner, divisible by 4, those numbers that are in the skip counting pattern by 4s. So 4, and 8, and so on, every fourth number. 16, 20, 24, and 28. Which ones are divisible by 5? Okay, here, 5, 10, and 15, right? And over here, 20, 25, and 30. Which ones are divisible by 6? Okay, 6 would be the first one that's divisible by 6. And then 12, over here, 18 and 24 and 30. Then by 7, we would have 7, of course, divisible by 7. And then the next one is 14. And over here, 21 and 28. Divisible by 8, we have 16. I mean, we have 8. It's divisible by 8. And then 16 and 24. And that's it. Of course, 32 and so on, but as far as in this chart. Divisible by 9, we have 9 divisible by 9, and then 18, and then 27, every ninth number. Okay. And now, our chart is complete. And there are some numbers here that are kind of special. Let's look, at, look here. 2 is divisible by 1 and 2. 3 is divisible by 1 and 3. 4 is divisible by 1, 2 and 4. Then 5 is divisible by 1 and 5. 6 is divisible by 4 different numbers. 30 is divisible by 5 different numbers. Here. Now I know I didn't go up past 10. 30 is actually divisible by 10 too. And by 15. And by 30. So there's actually more factors there too. But this is actually enough for us to find some special numbers that are only divisible by 1 and by themselves. And those numbers are called prime numbers. Let's now find them and circle them. Okay, here's my first prime here, and here, only divisible by 1 and by itself. 5, then 7, 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not, 11, how about 11? Okay, my chart doesn't go here divisible by 10, 11, so, so 11, it's not divisible by 10, but it is divisible by 11. There's only 1 and 11 that it is divisible by. 13 is the same situation. It's divisible by 1 and by 13. Okay. 14, no. 15, no. 17 is the next one we could try. 17 is not divisible by 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Neither one of those. So, 17 is a prime. 19 is a prime. And then we have 23. Now you might wonder why do we not need to try these other numbers? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We don't need to try them because if this was divisible by, let's say, 11, then it would also be like, it would be like 11 times 2 maybe, and then it would have also been divisible by 2, okay? But it missed the 2. 
or if it was divisible, say, by 19, then it would be maybe 19 times 2, 19 times 3. It would be 19 times some of these small numbers. But if it's not divisible by any of these small numbers, then it cannot be divisible by these 19, 18, 17, 16, and so on either. Okay, these all, oh, here, yeah, 29. It's the last one on my chart. So these numbers are prime numbers because they are not divisible by anything else except by 1 and by themselves. Over here now, our task is to find if 79 would be a prime number or a composite number. Now, composite is the opposite of prime. All the other numbers here are composite numbers, okay? And to determine this, it sounds like I would need to check if 79 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 79. But, fortunately, that is not so. Like I was trying to explain this principle, we only need to check some of the small numbers. Because let's say if this was divisible by some big number like 30, 37 or something, then it would be 37 times a small number, 37 times 2, 37 times 3. And so if it's not divisible by 2 or 3, then it cannot be divisible by some of those bigger numbers, close to 79 either. We actually need to go up only to 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81. We actually need to only check up to 9, because 9 times 9 is more than 79. So let's start checking. Is 79 divisible by 1? Yes, it is. Let me circle it. It's divisible by 1. Is it divisible by 2? No, because it's not an even number. Is it divisible by 3? Maybe you want to do long division and check? I think of it this way. I know that 75 is divisible by 3. So therefore 75 plus 3 more is divisible by 3 too. 78 is divisible by 3. 79 then cannot be because every third number is divisible by 3. It cannot be divisible by 4 because it's not an even number. You see? All multiples of 4 are even numbers. Now, it cannot be divisible by 5 either, because the skip counting pattern by 5s, you only have 5, 10, 15, 20 numbers that end in 0 or 5. It cannot be divisible by 6, because it would be an even number. Okay, it cannot be divisible by 8 either, because it's not an even number. And now we need to check 7. Okay, 77 is divisible by 7. And, you know, every 7th number is divisible by 7. So 79 cannot be, since it's just 2 more than 77. And then 9, okay, 81 is divisible by 9, and 79 is just 2 less, so it cannot be. And it's not divisible by 10. And we do not actually need to check anything beyond 9. It is prime. Is this number prime or composite? We do the same thing. It is divisible by 1, because every number is. Now, it's not an even number, so it's not divisible by 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 10. Is it divisible by 3? Okay. Well, I know a number nearby. 90 is divisible by 3. Okay, 90 is 3 times 30. And this is just 3 less. And numbers divisible by 3, every third number is divisible by 3. So 90... 87, 84, 81. So yes, it is divisible by 3. So it is composite. It's not prime. Let me write here. 90 equals 30 times 3. 87 is just 1, 3 less. So it is 29 times 3. It is composite. Okay, well done for this and I hope this was helpful.